Hey guys, this is a video in my TI-30 XS Multi-View tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate in fractions on the TI-30 XS Multi-View. I'm also going to show you how to convert a decimal answer to a fraction and vice versa, and how to convert between improper fractions and mixed numbers. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, let's add five halves to two-thirds. In order to enter a fraction input, press the button labeled N over D, and that brings up the fraction form with a space for a numerator and a denominator. So I'm going to type in 5 in the, uh, in the numerator, so type in 5 on the number pad, and then press the down arrow and type in 2 in the uh, denominator. And now I have 5 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator, so arrow right and uh, press the plus sign and now I'm going to press N over D once more and this time I'm going to type in 2 thirds so 2 and then down arrow and 3 and then I'm going to press enter and I get the answer in fraction form. If for some reason I wanted this uh, fraction to be converted to a uh, decimal, all I would need to do is press second and the table button and this comes up on the screen and press enter and I get the answer in uh, decimal form. And if I wanted to go back to fraction form, all I would need to do is press second and the table button one more time and I would go back, after I press enter, I would go back to the fraction form. If you want to add mixed numbers, press the second button and then the N over D button and that brings up the mixed number form where you have a space for a whole number and then the fraction. So for example, let's type in 2 and 5 halves. So I'm going to first type in 2 and then I'm going to arrow right to the fraction and type in 5 halves just like I would for, uh, for an ordinary fraction. So 5 and then arrow down and press 2 on the number pad. So I have 2 and 5 halves. Now to that, I'm going to add uh, 1 third, let's say. So plus and then press second. Oh no, not second, sorry. Just press uh, the N over D button. And that brings up the ordinary fraction, the proper fraction uh, form. So just type in 1 an arrow down and 3 so we have uh, 2 and 5 halves plus 1 third and press enter and once I press enter I get 29 over uh, 6 as my uh, answer in fraction form and likewise if I wanted to convert this to decimals I would do the same thing, press second and the table button. And if I wanted to get the fraction back, do press second and the table button and press enter. And if I wanted this uh, improper fraction to be converted to a mixed number, all I would do is press second and the uh, times 10 to the end button to select uh, uh, the conversion be from uh, a proper fraction to mixed number and vice versa. So press enter. And from this mixed number, if I wanted to go back to the proper fraction, once again, just press second and the times 10 to the end button. And I'll go back to the improper fraction form. It's important to note that I press the convert buttons for the improper fraction to mixed number or even the convert button for the fraction to decimal form because I was converting the uh, answer that was last displayed. If you want to convert an answer that is not the last displayed answer, type in that entry. Uh, for example, if I wanted to convert 26 over 3 uh, to a mixed number, what I would do is I would type it in first. So 26 and then arrow down 3. If I wanted to convert this, and since it's not the last 
display an answer, I had to type it in. And next I'm going to press second and the times 10 to the end button and then press enter. And I get the conversion. So you could do that for um, anything that you want to convert. And another thing to keep in mind is uh, when you want to convert a decimal to a fraction, the fairly simple decimals are converted. But if you type in something like, for example, point uh, one, two, 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 five, or something like that, uh, and try to convert that to a this uh, to a fraction, uh, it's not going to do it. So, whereas if I type in something like zero point seventy five, and I try to convert that to a uh, fraction, the calculator will do it. So, uh, just be mindful of those things. I hope this video helps. As always, if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll try my best to help. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the Graphing and Scientific Calculators tutorial series. Until next time, take care guys.